Just Desert is a casual vision novel with small RPG and dating sim elements sprinkled in. The story of this game is a very simple one, so aliens evaded and it is your job to defend against them. But this ultimately boils down to how well you can manage your time. There are five romanceable patterns throughout the game. Knowing how to spend your time is crucial in this game. Whether it's preparing to take down aliens or asking one of the herons on a date is up to you. But before you can ask anyone on a date, you need to fill their affection meters. You can accomplish this by completing quests given out by the heroines. These quests Join usually consist of buying certain items, training with them, or beating certain types of enemies. The tutorial explains everything, but it leaves detailed strategies up to the player to figure out. Some tips that I wished I had known before playing was that the city was unlocked earlier than they said it was, there are two shops to buy items from, and the knife attacks hey, go dude. through shields. Yeah. Some players also might feel overwhelmed in a sense that they do not have enough money for the heroines since they are constantly upgrading their weapons and armors for the aliens, but players can circumvent this by selling item drops from the aliens. But be See warned, ya. some items are wanted for some quests. I still recommend just selling anyways, you need the money in this game, especially if you have an item called the Lucky yes. Pendant, sell it. The I only like thing that this game does you. great is the character's voice acting. The characters seem okay, like but it's their voice that really pushed them over to great. Personally, I don't find Cornelia's voice all that great, but all the others were very enjoyable to listen what? to. What? He's dead already. Damn! I thought we could have a little team building exercise tonight. Team building? Yeah, to increase teamwork effectiveness and trust. We all should play a game tonight. And when did we implement such rules? Hey, new guy! Why are you leaving us so soon? Wake the fuck up! <laughs> the combat RPG element of this game feels like a flash game and feels very repetitive, but it is a necessary grind for money. The story also is not the best, but wasn't bad. If you care about heavy story games, this isn't really for you, as the story here is light-hearted. One thing I wish the game had was a New Game Plus mode, where you can have unlimited resources. This would actually make me want to replay it, but thinking back to grinding those aliens, this probably is going to sit in my library collecting dust. Overall, I recommend this 5-8 to eight hour experience for the asking price. I think $10 is worth what is here. The voice acting, as well as the solid dating some elements, make this title a good buy. If the title did not have the voice acting, I would say this game is worth half of what it is. Thanks for watching. What's a date? I'm curious. Let's go do this. Roger. Okay, what do we do now? And then? I see.